Agroforestry Agroforestry is the incorporation of trees into and amongst traditional crops. It provides protection against crop failure. Introducing trees onto a farm also encourages you to develop good management and leadership skills. Trees form an irreplaceable part of every landscape, environment, culture and country. If we carry on cutting down trees in southern Africa as we have done up to now, we have less than 20 years left of this vital resource. Trees are used for charcoal and firewood. They are an important source of timber and can be used for furniture, fencing and many other products. Trees also help to regulate the local climate and provide food for humans and animals. They protect against erosion and prevent soils from drying out. Where trees exist, life thrives. When the trees are gone, everything else soon follows. Leguminous trees. In agroforestry, we normally plant leguminous trees. These are trees which have pods that look like peas or beans, for example, many of the acacia species. We use leguminous trees because they fix nitrogen into the soil. Plants need nitrogen to grow, and fertilizer contains nitrogen. So by planting leguminous trees, we can reduce the amount of fertilizer we need for our crops. Collecting seed. Trees can easily be grown from seed. Once you have identified the type of tree that you require, select a healthy tree to collect seed from. Avoid collecting seed that has already been on the ground for a long period, or seed that looks deformed or partially eaten, as these are unlikely to germinate. Treatment Once you have the desired seed, see if it requires any treatment in order to germinate. If the seed is in a pod, remove the pod. Once you have a raw seed, if it has a hard coating, then soak it in boiling water to help it burst out of this hard outer layer. Boil water and pour it over the seeds to soak overnight. Potting. In order to ensure healthy seedlings and fast germination, it is important to provide your seeds with the best environment to help them grow. Find a suitable container. This may be a plastic juice bottle, empty sugar packet, commercial seedling pot, or anything that will hold soil and allow water to drain out. The most versatile potting mixture consists of one part topsoil, one part coarse sand, and one part compost. The topsoil will hold the mixture together, while the compost will provide all the nutrition your seedling requires and the coarse sand will allow water to drain easily and prevent your seedling from rotting in waterlogged soil. Once you have filled your container with potting soil, cover it with mulch and water liberally. Then take the treated seed and plant one or two seeds in the potting mix. Water regularly. Planting a tree. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Failing that, the next best chance we have is today. Dig a hole the same size as your seedling packet. Add some compost to the hole. Fill the hole with water so that it can soak into the soil and plant the seedling immediately. Plant the tree so that the base is at the same height as the surrounding area. Fill in the hole with compost and cover with mulch. Water the tree seedling well. Living Fences A living fence is a line of thorny trees planted close together to form a cheap, low-maintenance hedge for cropping areas. A thorny tree species like an acacia can be used. Plant the trees 40 centimeters apart in two staggered rows. This fence must be pruned and maintained as a hedge and the branches woven into one another to form an impenetrable barrier. Alley cropping. The most intensive system of agroforestry is known as alley cropping. 
In this system, leguminous trees are planted in rows amongst the traditional crops. Every five meters throughout a crop, a line of trees may be introduced. Plant the tree seedlings close together at the beginning of the rains. Plant in an east to west direction so that the tree lines do not shade the crops too much. Allow the trees to grow amongst the crops. Cover with mulch. Prune the trees if they create too much shade. The following season, prune the trees right down to knee height so that they do not shade your crops. The species you use must grow back well so that you use the same trees year after year. Phyderbia albida Phyderbia albida is a leguminous tree that is very good for agroforestry. By planting these throughout a cropping area and planting maize beneath them, you can increase your yields by up to 400% in some cases. This unique tree drops its nitrogen-rich leaves at the start of the rains, which provides you with a natural mulch blanket as you begin to plant. As the crop grows, the leafless tree does not compete for sunlight. At the end of the growing season, its leaves return to protect the soil from drying out when you have harvested. Phyderbia albida also produce large quantities of nutritious pods that are relished by game and livestock. <laughs>